Hey everybody, it's the Happy Camper and today we're talking about a hiking shirt, specifically this one here. It's sitting in a pile for a reason, I'll explain it in a little bit. I spent a lot of time looking for a specific kind of shirt. And over time, I've tried different types, different styles, different materials. Hiking is a big deal for me. It's something that I do quite regularly. And so I, I needed a very versatile shirt and I think I found it. This is the Little Donkey Andy Men's Quick Dry Shirt. And it's sitting here on a pile because this is one of my checklist items. Can it just sit on a pile like this and then I can pick it up and wear it? It's been sitting for a week, exactly like this. When I look at it, it looks a little bit wrinkled. Uh, but I'm not going to a public setting or anything. I'm just going hiking or doing some work around the house. So it's okay. So first impressions, I ordered this from Amazon. It was $39.99. It has 233 ratings, averaging out to four stars. So that kind of gave me a little bit of confidence to try it out. The shirt is a little bit more than I wanted to spend, although $39.99 is not bad. Uh, and so when I received it, I opened it out of the package and I thought there was two shirts in there. This is so thick and it has so many layers. And layers is one of the key elements to good hiking clothes. I was very impressed with the thickness. It has the ripstop design where it has a grid pattern. So if you nick the material, it won't just continue ripping until you have a big hole in it. It'll stop at the next little square. Just like any good hiking shirt, it has a ton of pockets. So um, and so like the, the vest pockets right here, there's actually three on each side for a total of six pockets, which is phenomenal. It's just great for compartmentalizing equipment. You know, I might have to put some filters and I don't want them to get scratched. So I can put one in this pocket here. Got a little Velcro. I don't have as much confidence in Velcro. If I was doing some crazy hiking and climbing and this wouldn't be one that I would trust with my wallet. But on the side here, it has a zipper pocket. That is great because you could definitely put the material there that you don't want to lose. And it zips right up and it's not going anywhere but the third pocket I'm not even sure if it is technically a pocket but on the inside it has a sewn-in space and it's pretty substantial I could definitely store some snacks or some paperwork a receipt or something like that if I if I needed to there's a lot of utility to these pockets design wise it's a bluish grayish not too light not too dark color and the stitching is really high quality as far as I can tell so the pocket here, uh, it has the stitching for the pocket, but then it also has the stitching for this other, um, I don't know what it is. And it, it just makes it look a little dorky, you know? I feel like, like kind of a little more nerdy, uh, like a nerdy hiker when I wear it. Again, I'm not going into public settings where I'm interacting with people or anything like that, so that's not a huge concern. It was just like a little bit of a bummer. It has um, hooks here. I'm not sure what I would, oh, you're supposed to, I think, when you roll up the sleeves, you have this to hold them up or something like that maybe. As you can see, I could use this in layers. So um, there's already been some days here. It's the fall here in Livingston, Tennessee, as of filming. And there has been some days where it's been pretty cold. And so what I do is I wear a long sleeve shirt and then I put this shirt over. And uh, one, of the, one of the talking points um, was that it's, it functions like a windbreaker. And I must say it does do a pretty good job of not letting the wind seep through, especially when you wear it with the additional layers. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. All right, let's go through some of the details of, of the shirt. 90% polyester, 10% spandex. It does have a little bit of stretchability. That comes in handy because when I'm hiking, um, sometimes I have to you know, reach up, grab a branch, climb up, or something like that. And that, that stretchability really helps with that. The shirt is intended to fit a little bit loose. However, I like a snugger fit, so I got a medium, even though I normally get large sizes. I am six foot tall, I weigh 200 pounds, and I typically have longer arms than average. Most shirts are a little short on me. So this one, um, it, for the medium size, fits great. It's not super baggy, it's a little bit loose. It gives me a little wiggle room, which is what I wanted. And the, and the sleeve length was okay. It's a little short, but um, it's acceptable. I've washed it several times already. It hasn't shrunk at all. So that's another bonus. I don't have to worry about the size changing after I purchased it. It has this inner layer. I think it's supposed to help with sweat or something like that. But I went out on a very humid day for a hike and I was sweating buckets. And I felt like I was sitting in my sweat. So what I've been doing after that is just always wearing a cotton-based uh, undershirt. And that helps with absorbing the sweat 
and then whatever sweat does get through to this does seem to dissipate and evaporate pretty quickly. So for me, that's a good combo. That's kind of like the way I like to do things. But if you just wear this shirt and you're not around a whole lot of people and you feel okay with it, you could unbutton some of the buttons on the front and let that air come through, which is pretty nice. So the shirt's versatile because uh, I have worn this shirt at like around 40 degrees. Just put on this long sleeve shirt, put this shirt on and I don't need a jacket. So that's a big deal when we're talking about uh, hiking. Less to carry means that, um, you know, I can go all the way from hot and muggy to freezing and I got everything I need. I got this, I got an undershirt um, or two um, and I'm not having to carry anything bulkier. So really, really happy about that. Talk about some of the other functionality. I, I've been hike, hiking through some brush. It was snagging and there was some burrs that were sticking to the shirt. On one of my more substantial snags, there's a little tiny, um, I won't even bother showing you guys, but there's, there's a little bit of, of the material that started to come undone. But the rip stops doing its job, didn't turn into a hole, and it's not turning into a bigger and bigger hole over time either, even after washing it several times. So the durability is pretty good. It says that it provides UPF 50 plus protection. I'm not really up to speed on if that's good UPF protection or not, but it is nice to know that you get some protection from the sun. That is one of the concerns that I have when I'm out there is, is getting burnt. It claims that it's dry tech. Basically it's made out of a similar material to like swim trunks and the material tends to dry pretty quickly. It doesn't have any waterproof qualities to it, but I did notice that water tends to beat up a little bit before it starts to soak into the shirt. So when I was uh, using the shirt outside and it was sprinkling a little bit, it took a little while before it started to soak in and, and saturate on me, which is helpful. It's a little bit of an advantage. It says it has water and soil resistance. That's what I was just talking about now. I think that maybe the style of weave and maybe the type of material that it is helps with, with that. Okay, so it claims that it has moisture wicking uh, capabilities. And what I'll say about that is if you're sweating a lot, if it's a really hot and muggy day, there's only so much that it can do. But if it's um, a warmer day and you're sweating a little bit, it, it, it's very functional, that, that will be a good thing. So what happens when, when you're working out there and it's really hot and muggy, this tends to stick to your skin. And then you're trying to pull it off and take off the shirt, right? Like this, this shirt right here would be a nightmare um, if I had been sweating and really hot. So with, with the buttons, I can unbutton it and, and take it off procedurally, which is, which is a substantial advantage. So I have been looking for a shirt that can do it all. And honestly, I can wear this shirt when it's freezing cold. I can wear this shirt when it's super hot. I can wear this shirt when it's muggy. It's got buttons so that I can unbutton it if I get too hot. And it has long sleeves that can roll all the way up if I get hot, or I can roll all the way down and uh, stay a little bit warmer. I can wear it with an undershirt, which gives me additional warmth, and it has ripstop technology, and it's stretchy. This shirt really is the closest I've gotten to a hiking shirt that can do it all. It's not super heavy, it is really thick, really high quality, the, the stitching is really good. I'm definitely gonna be buying more shirts like this. It, it fits the bill for me. Uh, probably the only thing I don't like about it, and this is purely subjective, is the styling of it, and how it has extra stitching around where the pockets would be. That is uh, probably to make it more durable, but it just makes it look like, uh, I don't I like a nerdy shirt or like an old guy shirt. And I'm 42 years old, so I'm kind of an old guy, but not my style, I, I would say it that way. But other than that, everything else is great about this shirt. Uh, 39.99 is a bit steep, so I won't be buying, you know, 10 of these shirts, but I'll certainly buy one or two more to keep on hand. A few other things to mention about the shirt. Um, when I first received it, it was very stiff. But after wearing it for a while, washing it a few times, it has gotten uh, very smooth and fluid. So that's just the nature of the material, I guess. Okay, my final thoughts on this shirt. The name's a little bit weird. Little Donkey Andy, I have no idea where that's coming from. There must be a backstory for that. But it's been something that I remember. I mean, at least in my mind, I say, hey, it's the donkey shirt. <laughs> and so if I need to search on Amazon, I'm more likely to find it. So that's a pretty good marketing tactic. $39.99 is a little bit higher than I like to pay for a shirt, but for a shirt as versatile as this, it is totally worth it. If it sits on a pile for too long, it does get a little bit wrinkled, but most of you probably aren't like, like me. <laughs> I just throw all my clean clothes in a pile in the corner of the room. So um, the styling is a little uh, dorky looking, but I'm not going to any public settings when I'm wearing this shirt, so the wrinkliness and the dorky, a little bit of dorkiness when I'm out there doesn't matter. Now let's talk about the good stuff. 
It's stretchy, so it gives me plenty of mobility. It has buttons, so if I get too hot, it's easy to remove the shirt, or I could even remove it while I'm hiking and get some air through the front side. Um, I can roll up the sleeves, I can roll down the sleeves, it wind breaks pretty well, and it has a little bit of waterproofness, but it's also like, like a, the material of, of swim trunks, so it dries pretty quickly. It's a thick, well-made shirt, the stitching's pretty high quality. Um, and it has tons of pockets. It has three pockets on this side and three pockets on this side. Velcro flap, zipper, and then it has an inner pocket that, I mean, I don't know if it's really a pocket or not, but it certainly functions as a pocket as well. It has ripstop technology, so they, they sew a grid pattern on the material, and if you get a hole in it, it's not, it's, it's much less likely to continue to rip and become a bigger and bigger hole. It, I, when I've been hiking with it, I've snagged it a few times, but um, it hasn't turned into a, into a big hole. The stickers that stick to it come right off and it, it hasn't created a bigger issue. So quality is great. Value is through the roof for me. And the fact that I can use it winter or summer means this is gonna be a go-to shirt that I can use any time of year. That's been my review for the Little Donkey Andy hiking shirt. Um, I hope that that helps you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.